9.24 remaining in the first quarter. Drive, kick, one more pass, open three-point shooter Brogdon, he hits it. Great ball movement starting with the penetration of clear out. Giannis picked his pocket, caught him sleeping, caught him napping. Nice pass, Lopez finding Brogdon who did the work in the paint. Giannis and some of that gravity that we talk about in terms of attracting a crowd of defenders on the road. Lopez, 2.6 threes a game. He is the top shooting center when it Miles who at 6'10, but he is a perimeter threat. So his shooting percentage does not that. Look for Chris Middleton to, to be the feature performer offensively. Nice job. Oh, Not it's Brogdon. an and one. Brogdon drives and scores on Jamal Murray. I mean, I tell you what, I mean, and again, the Bucks had the quadrants field on the perimeter that opened up that driving lane. You see the quadrants, Brooke gonna fill his. And then Brogdon, and this is something that players do a lot. I won't even call it unconventional because they do it so much nowadays, but you go off that same foot. That right. Five seconds remaining, first half. Milwaukee leads by one. Three on the way. Brogdon hits it. Malcolm Brogdon, 63-59. Milwaukee is 9 of 18 on threes. Get a death. The Bucks did it there. Here's Giannis first going to get it started. Little shot fake. Nice job penetrating. You see the defense overcommit. Too long of a run for Monte Morris. Take that with you into halftime. Hail to the Chief. Malcolm Brogdon knocking it down. Drive score, Brogdon. Got that little left hand it take and finish going strong handing defense by milwaukee brogdon has it brogdon three yes malcolm brogdon and the bucks lead 115 112 a triple out of the defense 17 for 34 the Bucks have three players with 20 or more. Pretty much on fumes. Giannis, 41 minutes just yesterday afternoon against the Clippers. The president, 38 minutes. No problem. Give me an open look for the three-point line. Malcolm Brogdon does a nice job. Shoot the ball terrifically from that area all season long. Calmly knocks it down. With 2.45 to play, the Bucks ran off a 9-2 closing run, and they win in Denver. 121-114. I haven't seen many of these. This is just the fifth time that the Bucks have won here when they have come to Denver as the second of a back-to-back. -back. Very rare to win a mile high, and the Bucks will fly home higher than that tonight after this great victory.